St. Luke's, it is good to be with you. I promised you a few weeks ago that we would talk about reopening, and I'm coming with some exciting news on the next step in our very uh, structured reopening process. And really what we are going to talk about today is the survey we're sending out to you, and I'm going to give some broad sweeping ideas of what lay ahead for us and some exciting news, I think, as we continue to imagine, reimagine coming back together. Uh, what I want to remind you of with this survey is it's important that we hear from you and it's important that you're honest. There are some questions you will see a bunch of information about how we're going to take steps to keep you safe, live into the gospel imperative that we are to love one another, that we're to care for the most vulnerable. Uh, in the body, as Paul reminds us, when one part of the body is suffering, the whole body suffering. So we as a church have always taken that stride and we'll continue to take that stride despite any kind of pressures, uh, wherever they may be, that we will care for people. And that's what this survey will help me understand is how can I care, how can we care for each other, how can I care for you? So when you open the survey, you're gonna see a bunch of steps we're gonna take, uh, things to expect in terms of coming to worship, like wearing a mask, uh, no congregational singing, uh, how we're gonna clean and uh, that we're gonna clean and sanitize between the services, that we need volunteers, that we need you to make these services happen. And then at the end of kind of getting an overview of how we're gonna create a safe environment, you're gonna be asked a simple question, are you gonna join us for worship? What I need you to realize with that question is that when you say yes, we are assuming that you mean once I can reopen the church, you will come. Don't say yes to that if you think you're gonna wait a month or two to join us. What I need to know is who can come right away so that we can begin to imagine how many services it, or do we need to host and how possible is that. If you say yes to the reopening, that you're gonna join us right away, then the next question, the next set of questions is who's coming with you? And then the next question is, are you willing to volunteer? This question is very important. In order for us to be successful with our reopening, we will need a bevy of volunteers from ushers, which may come from our existing usher pool, those who are comfortable uh, helping us crowd control and traffic people in and out of the space, all the way to people who can help us clean, people who can help us register folks, people who can help clean our, our bathrooms on the main level uh, in the sanctuary. So we need those volunteers for each service. A service will not be able to happen if I can't get the volunteers in place. So we have to be honest about that. So I'll need you uh, to do that and to answer that question honestly so we can look at what we have available. And then as you move through the rest of the survey, it's gonna kind of step back from the reopening and I want you to imagine with me, how can St. Louis continue to live into our mission? What are you gonna be proud of on the other side of COVID-19 in terms of St. Luke's on the lake? Uh, I want you to really be honest about that with me as we imagine, and the vestry and I imagine together what we can do. Now, so you know there's movement. Uh, many of you have known that the staff have been coming and going to do different duties along the way in the office, but we are, have submitted a plan uh, to reopen the office. The office reopening will be a great litmus test for us to see if temperature checks on staff, as we'll have to use on volunteers on Sundays, how practical is that? How, how if we created a system for doing that that's efficient and quick, so that volunteers can come. So we'll be able to use the staff as guinea pigs for that. Staff wearing masks in the communal areas, if we figure out how that works. Uh, so we're gonna have a lot of, but it's a step in the right direction. It's a step towards reopening. It's a step towards us coming back together. And then what we're waiting for, the diocese is not holding us down with an iron fist. I wanna be very clear about that. They're not preventing us from reopening. They've asked us to wait till there's a 14 day aggregate reduction in cases in Travis County. And they've made this uh, clear across the diocese. So some churches in the diocese are able to reopen. Some are able to reopen, but they can't use their existing building because they don't have enough room to do social distancing. Some of our really small churches in the diocese. So everybody is having to walk through this and we do it in a, from a place of love and from a place of joy because that's where God calls us, calls us into these kind of events to be leaders to show people a compassionate way forward. And I need to hear from you to help me figure that out. But celebrate with me that we are moving in the right direction. We're moving towards a, a, an opportunity to reopen and to be together again. 
And I look forward to that. I look forward to joining you in the library. I look forward to joining you in the sanctuary. And it will come, but it's going to come in a very phased, practical approach. And we're going to have to make, to be smart and be careful with all of our health. I am somebody who has to think about it. As many of you know, I'm waiting on and expecting our second child. I can't ignore that. So I may not get really sick, but I don't need to expose my, un, my, new, my new child to the virus. So I'll be wondering about this for the months ahead. And we all will be. But we will do it together. And we will do it uh, as a community in Christ. And then we'll be Christ to the world by continuing to imagine not how we come and do church together, but looking for exciting ways to be the church in this time and place. So please fill out the survey, really read and be honest with your answers, and do let us know if you plan on joining us the minute we can reopen. And I will come back in, in a couple weeks as we start to have a date, and I will celebrate with you that date and the plan that we have. But this is your way to help me uh, figure out the next steps and to work with the reopening committee to do that. And I thank you in advance for taking the time to fill out this survey.